Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Hattie Homemaking. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a cozy cottage tour. I did a home tour a couple of years ago, but since then, a few things have changed in the house that I wanted just to show you and update you. For people that are new here, my style tends to be um, cottagey, sort of shabby chic, a little bit eclectic. I love teapots, I love getting things from charity shops. So it's, yeah, it's not 100% modern, I wouldn't say. I would say it's like a cross between um, a bit old fashioned and shabby chic, but also a little bit modern as well in places. I don't follow trends, so I never got on the gray and white trend and now this new trend of paneling and um, what is sort of like warm colors. I do, I do like it, but I'm not someone to change my whole house into a particular trend because my opinion is that trends are constantly changing and I just do not have the money <laughs> or the budget to be changing my entire home decor every time the style that it's in fashion changes. So I prefer just to go with what I really like and then hopefully items that I have will last me my whole life. I want to be one of those families that can say we've had that sofa for 25 million years. <laughs> Or, I don't know, just like little things, like I love little bits in the home where it has a story to, or if one day we have children, I could say, oh, your great grandma gave me that, or, you know, little things like that. So, without rambling on too much longer, I'm just gonna get straight on in to the home tour. Okay, so I'm starting in the hallway. Literally, my back is pressed against the door right now because our hallway is quite small when you come into it, but this is the first thing you see in our house. So this has changed. I got this new IKEA shoe storage which is absolutely amazing for a small hallway you can fit so much stuff in it that's all my horse riding bits <laughs> so I've just got all of our shoes in there and there's so much space spare as well for new shoes then I just have these little baskets and these are just Murphy's baskets so any leads um, all his little jumpers that he wears at Christmas time and any like medicine and things like that we just keep everything Mur Murphy related there then just coming up I keep my riding hat on here just it's easy just to pick up when I'm going out the door my riding boots I'm actually not allowed in the house because Paul says they stink <laughs> so I have to leave them outside and then going up I have this little sign that says warm hearts and cold noses make this house a home that has not changed I will keep that forever then we just have some um, fake flowers and then this love sign that I absolutely love <laughs> it was from home sense and then just above here i have the i got this star alignment print of the night we got engaged which was um 14th of february so valentine's day in 2020 so i just have that there and then on to the side here so this is our windowsill we didn't actually install this windowsill it the house came like this and it was something we really enjoyed please ignore all that stuff that needs to go to skip. <laughs> but on this windowsill, I just have a Singer sewing machine, an old fashioned one. I don't actually use this. I just love the way it looks. Then I have a little picture of Murphy and then a picture from our wedding day as well. And then I found this little mailbox thing in HomeSense. And it's really good just to pick up the letters. Obviously they fall onto the floor from the door. And then I can just pop them in there until I'm ready to go through them and find them and things which is really good so that is our hallway that is everything as soon as you walk in now going a bit further down the corridor I have this mirror um, the mirror said on it um, look in the mirror that is your competition but I hate that so much the old um, <laughs> the old owners stuck it there and I just find it really cringy so I picked off competition I just need to pick off the top bit um, but this mirror is great because it really opens up a hallway that otherwise would feel quite small um, so I really like that. I'll just show you the rest of the hallway before we go into the, li the living room. So in here we just have our coats and our wi-fi box and things like that it's got this sign on it that says welcome to our happy home i love that i can't remember where i got that from actually and then this is one of my favorite areas of the home this is my welsh dresser that i absolutely love 
I got this second hand and I just painted it. It probably could do with another coat now as well. So I keep in here all my arts and crafts supplies and like office stuff. So I've got all my watercolour paper, I've got a million different pens and things like that. And then all my sewing supplies there as well. Sorry about the creaky, creaky door. Then on my Welsh dresser, I just keep a load of different things. A lot of this stuff is found in charity shops. At the top there, I have my sewing machine. So it's just, I did keep it in our outhouse for a while, but I just thought by keeping it here, it's a lot more easily accessible. I also got this bunting online as well. So I've added that to the Welsh dresser. I love the way that looks. And then we just have a range of teapots and flowers. I've got all any odd buttons that I find go in there. And I just like, I just love the way a little tub of buttons looks on the side. This is a little rabbit that I got for Easter, but I just keep her out because she's so cute. <laughs> so I keep her there. This mug I got in a charity shop for one pound because it just looks so much like Murphy. This is um, a little bottle that you can turn the lights on. And that looks really nice as well. Um, and then, yeah, this actually I got from a friend. It's a picture of me and my dad when I was younger. And here I can just keep any bits and bobs, letters, keys. This is a little dish that you can just use to put some sweets in or crisps. It just looks really nice. I got this cake stand from a charity shop as well. So, actually, I'll just finish this little area. So, I've got this little hanging, I think it's like a little succulent plant, a little fake one. And then above there, I just have a range of my favourite wedding pictures in black and white. I don't think I've ever shown these, actually. There's a little insight to our day. <laughs> and then next to it, I have a little sign that says love, which is very apt. <laughs> anyway, so now let's go to the living room. Should we show them, Murph? Go on, lead the way. Good boy. He's like, this is my living room. <laughs> So this is what the living room looks like now. So it looks very different from my last tour because we got a new sofa. So I'm just gonna walk you through everything in here. So starting off with the sofa, this was from SCS. It was in a clearance sale, so we got a really good deal on it. Our old sofa we got from eBay and it was about £350 a couple of years ago but Paul was struggling with his back so we really needed a new one and this is good because it's got these cushions that you can move about. You can just move them around and get comfortable and then put them back so it's not um, so rigid which is nice. Then moving around this lamp honestly we have had since I th probably about seven years ago when we first moved in together and I can't bring myself to get rid of it. I love the sort of relaxed lighting it gives. Then above there we just have a bookshelf that I just keep bits and pieces on. Then another new thing is I got these shutters as well, these shutter blinds which I love because I'm a very private person and I like that people can't really see in. And then I have this, the, this set of flowers which I got from Home Sense. And they're in this beautiful vase which I got from Home Sense as well. <laughs> I feel like everything I've said so far has been Home Sense. And then it's sat on a box just to make it a little bit higher so we can see it. And then in those in that box, I keep all my little bits and bobs that me and Paul have given each other over the years. So little cards and things like that. Then coming along here, this is new as well, the TV. We didn't have this in our last home tour, I don't think. Um, we just got a slightly bigger one. The other one we had was second hand and it just was going really, really slow and wouldn't change channel, so it's really frustrating. So we got this. I just still have the same TV unit. This was cheap, I got a couple of years ago, I think from eBay. And we got the whole set with the coffee table and everything. It was build it yourself and it's really, really lasted well. Then tucked away in this little corner, I have Murphy's little black basket full of his different toys. So normally they are spread across the floor, but he's being a good boy, aren't you now? You're letting mommy do a tour without all your toys around. So then coming to this side, I've just got this little basket. This was from B&M where I can keep all excess blankets and things like that. We have this log burner as well, which was another huge selling point of the house because they're really expensive to install log burners and actually they're really fuel efficient, um, especially at the moment with um, rising prices and things like that. I'm really grateful 
that I've got that. Murphy wants me to pick him up. Come on then. There you go. And then next to that I just have this nice little shabby chic candle which was a gift from my mother-in-law and then this little heart and then in this corner we just have it as a bit of an office section just because Paul works from home sometimes so he works in that little corner and then in look me with Murphy and um, in true style of our house we have mirrors everywhere because it just makes everything bigger so I've got a nice big mirror there then we just have all of this space free in the middle so I wanted a nice open space in here so we got rid of the coffee table but instead I have this nest of tables which is in the same range as what the coffee table and the tv unit is so I can just pull them out as and when I need them and then I just keep a couple of knickknacks on there so our remotes and some coasters and a wax burner and things like that so now let's walk around with Murphy in tow and our bungalow is split level actually just quickly let me just show you as well this new if you watched my recent home making vlog you will have seen me make this it was a dried hydrangea just put in this frame and I absolutely love the way it looks so now we have these few steps up to the kitchen and on this wall I just keep, actually I'll show you from the other angle because it will look a little bit nicer. <laughs> so on this wall I've just got all my aprons. I love, 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 love aprons. I've got so many. Let me just put Murphy down and show you. So I've got this Mrs. One. Paul has a Mr. One as well which his friends got us. Then I have this really nice blue this reminds me of sort of like a French one. Um, this one that's just a skirt. How pretty is that? Um, this purple one. What's this one? Oh, I love this one. This has got all like measurements and things on it. Then this one that my friends got me, Hattie the Baking Queen. Anyway, it's now turned into a bit of an apron tour. And then in this little cubby hole thing next to my aprons, I've got a clock, which, oh no, it is the right time. Great, happy days and these two paintings as well so now i'm going to turn around and show you the kitchen so this is our kitchen we are really lucky in that for a small house our kitchen is actually massive we've got all of this space so i'm just going to quickly take you around the kitchen so first of all we just have these bar stores we had them here last time but in addition to them we have now bought these ones just so when friends come around we can put those ones on the other side of the breakfast bar and we can almost have like a little table we're really lucky as well that the people lived here before us the guy was an electrician so we put loads of these fancy little lights in as well we also do have lights under our cabinets but I can't turn them on at the moment just because one of them is flashing so it'd be really annoying but on the topic of lights I have put these fairy lights up at the top so I like to collect all teapots and things like that and I just think it looks really nice on the top of these cabinets it turns the top of the cabinets into something that looks pretty rather than something that's just dead space so I also got these um, little lights and I can just turn them on with a remote control all of these bottles of alcohol are here from when we got engaged because neither of us really drink um so the only one we use is that one right there in that corner which is the red wine we use that for cooking but we're just not huge drinkers so they have been sat there for years <laughs> we then have this little bread bin and biscuit tin and then this little butter dish I got from a charity shop, our toaster, actually I need to clean the top of the toaster, and our little candle. Then moving along, I just have these shelves. These shelves, I got them from eBay ages ago. I'll have a little look if I can find any that are similar and I'll leave them linked below because people do always ask questions on them. And then again, I just keep loads of little bits and bobs. Um, I think that pink jug, this one, was from HomeSense. This was from a charity shop. This was a present that... Um, little plug socket at the back they used to have a tv up here so I try and hide it with um just things <laughs> and then I think that jug was from home sense as well and that little lantern was from home and bargains years ago and then everything on here was either given as a gift or from a charity shop and then coming down oh I'll just show you this little sign as well all you need is love and cake <laughs> and dogs 
And so on the theme of dogs, this is Murphy's little bird. So he is crate trained. He, um, for the first couple of years we had him, we didn't have him in a crate and then we moved house and he left behind a crate and he was obsessed with it. So we got him this and um, he loves it with a blanket down of an evening and you won't hear a peep out of him all night um so he sleeps in there and then just to make it into a bit more of a surface i um got this bit of wood and i just made it to measure and then just painted it so then i can keep his dog food above his bed as well then i've just been given this little table from my mother-in-law so i've put it there for now and it's got a teapot on it and these little pictures of murphy from when he was a puppy and now just scrolling around to the other side of the kitchen we have our um, fridge freezer there with all our magnets fridge magnets there from all our holidays then this is my little tea station so my kettle it's a matching kettle with the toaster as well um, some little tea bags I got these mugs from an Etsy store that I will link below and then I just have my millions of extra mugs in there then we have the little sink section so on here I just keep um, some fake flowers this is a little jug that I use um, when I am doing my seedlings so when I'm feeding my seedlings a little bit of water then we have this little egg house that I got from my friend it's not actually got any eggs in it though because we keep our eggs in that little basket so here we just have um, a bit more of a practical corner really so I keep all my recipes here so the recipe that we're using I'll put on this and then in this file I've got all my other recipes I've got my Alexa which is turned off otherwise she would have responded to that and this is my remote for my fairy lights up at the top of the cabinets then this is just the little hob station and I did add um, this little hanging um, little thing for all my utensils and that is everything pretty much in the kitchen um, the only thing I think this was here last time is um, this um, cabinet door fell off and we couldn't replace it because it was just wrecked so I've just got this little curtain up for now and I just keep like pots and pans and things in there and then my little cleaning cupboard is there I love a little cleaning cupboard. <laughs> okay, so that is now the kitchen done. Oh, I failed to mention as well, this is natural slate flooring that was already here when we got here. So we were really lucky with that. I'm just gonna quickly show you the bathroom now, but before I do that, I just wanted to show you this little cleaning wall. So when you're in a small house, you have to be quite clever about storage solutions. So I turn this little wall into the stuff for all my cleaning supplies. So I've got my iron, my hoover, and everything is attached to the wall so that when this door of the bathroom is open, it's pretty much hidden. So this is our bathroom, it's all very white. We didn't design this, it was here when we got here. But to be honest, if I was designing my own bathroom, I'd probably do very similar. It's really good in that because everything is so white, I feel comfortable just throwing bleach around when I'm cleaning. So we just have our little section here. We've got his and hers storage. That's a laundry basket. Um, and then we have hand towel, the sink, by the way, if you don't have one of these, this is an electric flosser. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Little digression. And then we just have a radiator there. We have a bath, toilet, and then we're lucky to have a separate shower as well. Not that anyone cares, and this isn't exciting for anyone else, but we have a new shower door. <laughs> The other one was really old and full of lime scale and it was really hard to close. So that is something that pleases me greatly. That's when you realise you're getting old. So now I'm just going to walk into the second bedroom. I better just move that tripod actually. The other thing I haven't mentioned as well since I filmed my home tour the first time is we got these new doors. So um, all the rooms have these new doors. I love these doors that have lines down them. I feel like they're so cottagey and just pretty. So yeah, so this is the second bedroom. So we have all of this storage, this built-in wardrobe. This was here when we moved in, they left it for us. And at the moment, this is just an office room. So this is where I work sometimes when Paul is working in the living room. So I have my little office set up here. I've got all my thank you cards there and it's just a nice little cozy area. 
Then I have a radiator cover on here and then this little picture of horses that I've had since I was a little girl. And then this room as well does lead directly to um, the garden. So I'm not going to show you the garden in this video, but I'll just show you a little bit of the downstairs um, area. So this is my little potting table. That's a raspberry plant. I got so many raspberries off it. I've got a little rose there and yeah, it's lovely. And I could see a mark on my window there that needs cleaning. <laughs> At the moment, I just keep my heated area in this little corner and then I can just pull it out and dry clothes in here. And then just all of this storage where I keep all my clothes. Let me just quickly show you this corner. It's my favorite. I love it so much. So I can keep all my shoes, my bags. There's just so much space in this wardrobe. It's every girl's dream, <laughs> isn't it, Murphy? Yeah. And then I just have my hair products in this. I got this little basket for our wedding actually to hold confetti in and then pass it around to everyone. And then I just have a bag hanging and a little light. And that's everything in this room. Now I've moved that tripod, better move it back in. <laughs> and now going into my main bedroom. So in here we just have our bed plenty of cushions that I have collected over the years. This blanket it is a little bit tatty but I have to put that over the bed because Murphy does like to jump on our bed and have a little snooze don't you? Look he's demonstrating this is what I do. I'm throwing him off now he doesn't want to lie down. Go on then lie down. Show them what you normally do. He's like no I'm not a performing monkey. So the other thing that has changed is we've got new bedside tables. These are just the Ikea mom ones, I think they're called. And then also the lights are from Ikea. They are my favorite things ever because they have this little pull down, little, oh, there it is. And you can just turn it on and off using that. I love that. It just makes me so happy. And then again, another little wedding picture there. Then we just have another radiator cover in here with a few bits and bobs on. And then I have these really sweet sort of vintage, they're sort of like watercolour um, flowers. I had these from when I was a little girl as well. And now just scrolling across, I have, there he is, he's lying down now. I have this little ottoman here. You can see Murphy's little paw prints where he's been. Um, and this is where I sit to do my makeup in the morning. So I have this little unit, this little dresser and the wardrobes was originally pine and I painted it white and spray painted the handles silver and they look so much better. But this is where I sit and do my makeup. It's got all lights around the mirror, which can light up with white light, which is a lot better for doing your makeup. Then we do have a TV in the bedroom as well. I know that's naughty, but we do enjoy watching a little bit of Netflix before bed. Actually, I lie. At the moment, we are obsessed with watching Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, like the old um, version with Chris Tarrant in. <laughs> because it's so relaxing and monotone and it really just sends me to sleep and then I just have some perfumes on here behind this door I have another mirror and um, just all my jewelry hanging there then I keep all my makeup in here let me show you it's actually not too bad so I keep all my makeup in there and then I've got my um, brushes and yeah this is where I get ready in the morning so I won't show you in these wardrobes because this is where Paul keeps all his clothes. We do have this little bike in here. I know it doesn't look the best, but it is so practical to have it in here because we have so many options. I can open that sliding door and look out into the garden while I'm on the bike, or I can pull it out a little bit and watch TV while I do it, which is amazing for me. And then again, what I love about this house is from the bedroom, you can open the back door and then we usually have our sofa there. It's covered at the moment because apparently it's going to rain today. Um, but it's just, it gives you that really lovely like holiday on the balcony feel as well. So yeah, I love our little garden. It's got three levels to it. So if you go up the stairs, there is then 
um, our little grass and flower section and then up once more we have um, a little shed and an outhouse so we're really lucky to have a big garden as well. Okay so that is everything in our house tour shown now. If I've left anything out and you've spotted something that you want to know where it's from just ask me in the comments and I will do my best to reply. I feel like when you're looking at your own house you get very used to what's what and maybe forget what people are going to notice and ask um, where it's from. So I really hope you have enjoyed this house tour um, I do go for the cozy cottage vibe so if that's something you're into then hopefully this has given you some ideas I understand it's not like a proper like cottage um, but I do my best to sort of emulate that style so I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have then please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one